Hi, this is size 10 sedge hook. Um, you can use different size. Uh, I'm using this large hook for the demonstration purpose. And the thread I'm using is a camel color, size 8 O. And wax the thread. Start just below the eye. Touch and turn. I normally use this fly and still water if you want to add some weight on it or bead tungsten just to give extra weight for the river fishing. You can do that. I come back up again just to shape up the body and just to give a little tapered shape and go back down towards the bend. Touch and turn. Spin your bobbin to open the thread all the way. Okay, just a little bit more. Let's add the wax in here so it won't slip. That's better. <coughs> I'm going to be using the pheasant tail dyed as a claret color, and the color is your own choice. You can use different colors so I'm gonna take a few strands just for the tail and uh, remember the tail is kind of very short on this so what I'll do just kind of alter this hook so I can view better and just catch all these fiber couple of turn and then alter your tail Just a little bit more short. That's fine. Few turn. Right, and also I'm going to be adding copper wire, color red or claret or wine color. So just catch it gently and then few nice and tight turn. Pull these fiber back and catch the wire only. If you go along make sure you shape up the body. Now back, put your hook back to the normal position. Open your thread and then Just make sure the wire is covered, just parallel to the hook all the way, and then come back. And just stop about just with the bar, the hook's uh, point. Now you want to add some super glue just on the body not too much just a dry brush and you can take it off if it's a little bit too much that's fine I'm gonna put this thread out of my way and then remember to bring these fiber opposite way like a I'd say clockwise so we can secure them properly take your time keep coming this tight. Don't let it go and 
until you finish here just kind of need to give a few rock to secure this and then change your horn go front and I think there's these are secured nicely now and chop these extra pieces off and completely secure this that's fine now all you have to do is bring your ribbing now remember just leave decent amount of curve That's fine. Secure this. And then take this extra piece off. And looks alright to me. Now, we're going to be adding a little flash box. So this is a holographic medium size. Mailer make sure you put on the top and scale this before you do that check it if it's sitting nicely yep that's fine this is secured need a little thorax a little bit bigger thorax on this okay now we need to add some box on your thread and the same fiber pheasant tail clotted so take some off just for the head and just to give a shape of the head and the legs together so if, make sure they are all sitting flat touch them gently couple of turn and then you can bring them That's it, and then completely scare them. Make sure they're sitting flat, so we can put a nice thorax on. That's fine. Come back. Some wax. Okay, and also I'm going to adding going to be adding peacock hair. These are dyed green, two strand. So just catch them. And just keep them down actually parallel to your thread because I'm gonna spin them around along with the thread. So I mean you can put them on without spinning, but just for security. If you spin these along with your thread anti-clockwise, and remember take your time. So just we can they don't break quickly. So as you can see, I'll just kind of put them nicely. That's fine and then just secure them a few turn and take in the front these are very fragile fiber sorry so if you just take in the front that's fine and then make sure you secure them properly and then Take them off. Now, 
the next thing you have to do is just split these front fiber either side of the hook to just represent some legs equally so it doesn't have to be precise but just to see how they look when they are sitting in the water now because I put them a little bit below the eye so I don't have to tie them up yet and then bring your thorax just catch it gently take your time secure this make sure completely secure then you can get one or two fiber each and then break them because if you cut them then they leave a little bit bulk you know so if you take them like that as you can see they completely gone off and also they are secure as well so I'm going to just cut this one to get rid of and the next step is just bring this flush bar and secure a couple of turn and then check if that's sitting all right we can work with the body later few turn pull this sorry no actually i'm going to take this off just cut it from the side and then take this off and this is it i'll just open the thread and just from the head I'm just trying to hide this that's fine and let's see we finish these one by moving them back and forward so they can sit and next step is if you want to add some varnish or UV resin on the head just a dry brush make sure you don't go over the peacock fiber and then just them so there we have claret pheasant tail flashback nymph i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching